Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys. But first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are going to be playing on Blunarius Prime Chimps mode. Now, for this mode, you guys will be needing Sada as your hero. And the reason why I chose Sada is because she's an excellent star on this map. She is able to deal with the first couple of rounds by herself, which will enable us to buy a couple of monkey subs. So the first two things that we need to get once we place down our Sada is we need to go ahead and buy ourselves two monkey subs. Now, I want you to pay attention to where I'm going to be placing the monkey subs here in just a couple of rounds. Now, luckily, the monkey subs aren't too expensive, and we should be able to afford them here in just one second. So, this first monkey sub, we actually want to place it in the top corner, as you guys will see right here. And you basically want to uh, take it up as far as it'll go. And the reason why we want to have the monkey sub more towards the top is because once we uh, upgrade that sub to the sub commander, what we're or what we're going to be relying on is a couple of towers that we're going to place down here in a couple of rounds. And we just want to make sure that our sub commander is going to be able to hit the second puddle on the right hand side. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to grab ourselves a second monkey sub. And much similar to uh, the positioning of the first monkey sub, we want to make sure to place the monkey sub where I placed him right below the puddle on the right hand side. Now that we have both of these monkey subs placed down, we want to start upgrading the right one first. Now what we're going to be doing with the right hand monkey sub is we're going to be upgrading it to a 202. And that's just because we want to make sure that we have a enough popping power to deal with these first couple of rounds. And once we get this or the second monkey sub upgraded to a 202, that's when we're going to start working on the left hand side one. So luckily the uh, monkey sub doesn't cost too much to upgrade. So we should be able to afford the 202 rel relatively quick like. And then we immediately need to start upgrading our second one so guys while we're waiting to save up a little bit of money to go ahead and do that i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys find this video helpful especially when you guys are going for your black border i know uh it took me quite a bit of time to actually come up with a reliable strategy i really really wanted to use the spirit of the force for, for this map but unfortunately all the strategies that strategies that i tried just weren't working out the way that i initially would would have liked them to but at the end of the day, the, the, the monkey sub is a very good uh, tower to use in place of the Spirit of the, of the Forest. On top of that, I did do a little bit of testing with, with the Spirit of the Forest uh, on Resort. And I don't think the Spirit of the Forest would have ended up uh, helping out too much anyways. So here we have it, guys. We officially have our our monkey sub on the right hand side upgraded to a 202 and now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the one on the left hand side now much similar to, to the right hand side monkey sub we are going to be upgrading it to the same exact pathway but opposed to stopping at the 202 we want to up where the left hand side one is actually going to be upgraded all the way to armor piercing darts but don't get too excited guys we do need to get by a couple of other towers before we get upgraded to the armor piercing darts for example, we need to buy a sniper for round 28, which is coming up here in just a couple of rounds. And make sure with that sniper you change its targeting over to targeting strong. So now that we have the sniper or the sniper monkey up upgraded, we should be good for the next couple of rounds. We are not going to be upgrading that sniper anymore. We basically just rely on that sniper to go ahead and help us deal with round 28. Now that we have the sniper placed down, we are going to continue upgrading our other monkey sub. And now that we have both of the monkey subs upgraded to 202s, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple monkey buccaneers. Now, I wanted to go with the monkey buccaneers because the monkey buccaneers are kind of a super cheap tower. Not only do they provide a massive area for our subs to actually be able to hit hit balloons, but they also have the ability to pop lead balloons. So once we get the left hand side monkey sub upgraded a little bit more, we will be upgrading both of these monkey subs up to 020s. And that's just because we have a couple of lead balloons that give us a little bit of a hard time. So to make sure that we don't uh, lose to the, lead, to the lead balloons, I do enjoy or I did go ahead and upgrade both of those. Now, if it's going to make a big difference in the late game, uh, I don't think it's going to make too big of a difference difference but just in case you guys get a little bit on the un unlucky side and you guys do have a couple of balloons that make it past uh the wizard monkey that we're going to paste play place down these monkey subs can definitely come in clutch so now that we have the monkey sub upgrade to trip guns the next thing that we want to do is we want to upgrade the monkey buccaneers up to zero two zeros starting with the right hand side one first because as you guys can see towards the end of round 37 we are going to have a couple of lead balloons that give us a little bit of, of a hard time because i forgot to upgrade our sniper bump monkey and it turns out that the monkey buccaneers upgraded to the hot shots actually works a lot better than the sniper mutt monkeys so just a little bit of a heads up we are going to be upgrading both of the mutt monkey buccaneers up to zero 
with two zeros. Now you don't need to worry about up upgrading the mo or the monkey buccaneers past this anymore. Uh, it's just like it it's just a great way of dealing with the early game leads, and it doesn't cost too much to upgrade them to the zero two zeros. Now that we have all of this, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and upgrade our left hand monkey sub up to armor piercing darts. That way we can go ahead and deal with the Moab balloon that is going to be coming on round 40. Following that, we are we are going to be buying a couple of other towers. Uh, we are going to upgrade that right hand monkey sub up to another armor piercing darts. And we're probably going to end up placing down one more monkey sub. That way we don't struggle with dealing any, with any more Moab balloons. So uh, there we go, guys. We easily were able to deal with round 40, as you guys just saw. And that's mainly due because the monkey sub is great at dealing with Moab balloons. Alright guys, now that we're past round 40, the next thing that we want to do is we want to buy ourselves a wizard monkey. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pl placing this wizard monkey in the top left right uh, on the other side of the map or other side of the track from our Sada and we're going to be upgrading this up to a wall of fire with monkey sense and the reason why I want to grab this wizard monkey is not only is it going to help out with dealing with with some of the loose balloons but it's also going to be our primary popping power for round 59 in any balloons that the the wall of fire wizard monkey end up missing that are the camel leads on round 59 our, our two monkey buccaneers in the back should be able to help out with those so if you guys missed it, I did end up upgrading the monkey sub on the right hand side up to uh, the armor piercing darts as well. And now we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a third uh, sub and we're going to be upgrading it up to a 203. Now don't worry up about up upgrading it up to a 204 just yet because we will be do doing that after we get the sub commander. So guys, at this current point in time, there's not much else that we really need, need to do. We just need to save up the massive amount of money for the sub commander, which we should be able to afford on round 60. Uh, also, I wanted you guys to note that uh, if any balloons manage to make it pretty far on, on the map, remember you guys will have your Sodom level 3. So if you see like a ceramic balloon that's about to slip through, uh, you guys do have the option to go ahead and activate her level 3. And once we start get getting up more towards the round 58 or 59, you also have her level 10. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a speedy bit and I'll see you guys here in just a second. Alright guys, here we are on round 60, and as you guys can see, we just bought the sub commander. So now we're, we're definitely going to be able to deal with a lot more of, of these balloons. On top of that, not only is our sub commander going to pop off, but our third monkey sub that we placed down is also going to be getting the sub commander buff as well. So now that we are on round 62, the next thing that I do want to do is I want to grab our monkey vi villages. Now make sure you guys pay, pay attention to the placement of these vi villages because the placement, again, is going to be extremely important. Uh, because I'm basically placing down some towers for some future towers that we're going to be placing down in a little bit. Now one thing I will say is you don't need to worry too much about the lead balloons on round 63 because we do have the wall of fire wizard monkey at the start of the map and we also have the two monkey butt buccaneers that can go ahead and have help out with any lead balloons that manage to slip through. So the first thing that you want to do with both of the uh, my, or both of the villages, you want to upgrade the top right one up to a 002 and then you want to come back down to our first monkey village that we placed down. And you're going to go ahead and upgrade that one up to a jungle drums with ra with radar scanner. And then you're going to grab the MIB. Now, again, the MIB is definitely going to be able to help us out with dealing with lead balloons. But more importantly, it's going to make it make sure that our sub commander is actually going to be able to pop the DT balloons uh, once we make it to pass around 90 plus. On top of that, we are going to be going with a icicle impale. Um, I was trying to decide what tower I wanted to pair with the sub commander and every every sense i had was saying let's let's go with the with the icicle impale even though it's not going to be like super effective it definitely is going to help out a lot and it's definitely going to be the star of the show so we can almost afford to buy our mib so as soon as we can afford to buy our mib we're going to we're going to go ahead and do so following the or following our mib that's when that's when we're going to go back up to the top right monkey village and we're going to go ahead and upgrade that one a little bit as well 
So now that we have our monkey village upgrade to MIB, the next thing that we want to do is we want to come up to the top right monkey village and we want to upgrade it all the way up to primary mentoring. And this is going to make sense here in a, in a couple of rounds once we get all of the other towers placed down and upgraded that we need to get up upgraded. Like the next tower that we're going to upgrade is we're going to upgrade our third monkey sub to our, our, to our armor piercing darts. And of course we want to do this because it's going to... Uh, definitely help out our sub commander in dealing with the moab balloons because of course if you guys didn't know the sub commander does buff other monkey subs that are within its range and now that we have the, both of the monkey subs up upgraded the next thing that i want to do is i want to grab an alchemist now the main reason why i want to grab the alchemist is because we can't fit uh any more monkey subs within range of our sub commander that are going to be within range of the mib so to make sure that our sub commander is being more effective i do end up upgrading the alchemist up to stronger stimulant with faster throwing and this was a little bit more of an experiment because i just wanted to see if it would be a little bit more effective than going with the middle pathway so the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab a ice monkey and upgrade this mo ice monkey up to a 023 and then up to a 024 and then once we get the ice monkey upgraded the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab a fourth monkey sub. Now with this fourth monkey sub the main thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, help the right hand side out just a little bit because there are going to be a couple of rounds where our, our sub commander aren't going to be able to or our subs aren't going to be able to fully deal with all of the balloons our sub commander is going to lose sight of the balloons so in order to make sure that we don't lose to any balloons on the on the right hand side two monkey subs upgraded to the armor piercing darts is more than enough so now that we have all of this placed down the next thing that we're gonna that we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving up for the icicle and pale so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a fast forward bit and i'll see you guys here in just a second Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back on round 88. As you guys can see, we have our Icicle Impale. And our Icicle Impale is going to be able to hit both sides of the track. It's actually going to be able to hit the left side of the track twice and the right side of the track for a little bit. This is why I said that the Icicle Impale isn't going to be as effective as it can be. is because it only has a very short amount of time that's actually going to be able to hit the balloons. So one thing that I want you guys to pay attention to is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen I always have like e my cursor over either Sada's level 10 or her level 3 Just in case we have any balloons slip through because I would really hate to have to, have to like uh, Press a home or do something like that because that would end up not giving us our black border Also in case you guys missed it. I did place down a boomerang monkey. I, I, I upgraded this boomerang up to a 0 to 4 and that's just to give us a little bit of stall with the Moab balloons and now the, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a second boomerang monkey and I'm going to be upgrading it to a 024 as well. And again, that's just to give us that little bit of extra stall. So once we get this boomerang monkey upgraded, the next thing that I want to do is I do want to grab a mortar monkey. And the reason why I want to grab the mortar monkey is if you guys are seeing, the only balloons that are giving us a little bit of a hard time are the reinforced ones. So I figured it would be a really good call to go ahead and grab a mortar monkey and upgrade it up to shattering shells. So now there's not really too much that we need, need to do with these sh sh shattering shells. It's actually going to be placed at the start of, start of the map on pretty much every single round except for round 96. No, round 97. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to round 97. I'll bring you guys back as soon as we're there. All right, guys, I'm actually going to talk to you guys through this speedy bit here because there are a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about really quick. And it's what we're going to be doing with a little bit of our cash once we get these shattering shells. So now that we have the sh shattering shells, the next thing that we want to do is we want to start buying a couple more monkey subs. And what I'm going to be doing with these monkey subs is I'm going to be upgrading them up to a 204s. So once I get this first monkey sub upgraded to a 204, I want to buy an alchemist. And I'm going to be upgrading this alchemist up to a 420, opposed to the four the 401 that I upgraded the top uh, alchemist to. So now that we're on round 97, I want you guys to pay attention. Uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to swap the mortar monkeys targeting over to the right hand side. And the reason why I do this is just to go ahead and rip off that reinforcement from the BFBs and the Moab balloons. Because if we don't do that, then the, the uh, reinforced ceramic balloons can give us quite a bit of a hard time. 
So now, now that we cleared round 98, round or now that we cleared not round 987, we have round 98 that we need to need to deal with. Make sure you guys swap the mortar monkey back over to the start of the map to go ahead and strip off all of the reinforcement. And now the next thing that we're do doing is we're just uh, buying our last month monkey sub that we're, that we're going to be able to afford. Unfortunately, we will not be able to upgrade this one to our armor piercing darts. So this is going to be your final comp. Uh, you guys just want, want to make sure that you're paying attention to uh, if any balloons are about to slip through. I do activate both her level 3 and her level 10 on round 98. Because round 98 is the only round that kind of gets a little bit sketchy. Um, did I say that second monkey sub at the, at the bottom we wouldn't be able to upgrade it to our armor, armor piercing darts? I mean, the third monkey sub that we placed at the bottom we wouldn't be able to upgrade to our armor piercing darts. But anyways, guys, there we go. We have that third monkey sub pl placed down. Now we just have the uh, bad balloon left up to deal with. So let's go ahead and speed, speed this up. Because now that we've beaten round 98, we know round 98 and round 99, we know that we're going to be good, good to go on round 100. Now we just have the ZOMGs left up to deal with. So guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloons Tower Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I will see you guys in the next one.